Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Aquatic Life's brand new all-LED hybrid fixture, the Coral Cover. It is app-controlled, it has presets for popular T5 bulb combinations, so you don't have to think about spectrum too hard. It has the ability to tilt at 15 degrees inwards to keep all those lovely photons inside the tank where they belong. They uh, also did a really good job of keeping the brackets and hardware from the previous generations of fixtures compatible with this new one. So if you already have like a Kessel bracket or brackets for your Radeon, they're gonna fit just fine. Plus I've got part charts at the end of the video for you so you can see exactly how this coral cover is going to affect your primary LED light fixture to smooth out that light field. So let's get into it. Adding fill lighting like a T5 hybrid fixture has become super popular and a lot more mainstream and Aquatic Life has been the king of T5 hybrid lighting for many years with both their original T5 hybrid as well as their DX18 dimmable model. But not everybody wants to to deal with bulb changes or responsible disposal of the materials inside of a T5 fluorescent tube, which has led to more reefers supplementing their primary LED fixtures with diffused LED hybrid lights. The Coral Cover from Aquatic Life is their newest hybrid fixture, utilizing a mixture of LEDs spread out across two panels, and with no lenses to focus the diodes, it provides a wide blanket of light that will help kill the shadows between your prized coral colonies to make sure they get all the photosynthetic energy that they need. Each panel in the hybrid can be separately controlled through the HM app, so you can adjust the color, intensity, and set up a lighting schedule. It is also compatible with all of the exact same lighting brackets as Aquatic Life's previous T5 hybrid fixtures to fit your favorite primary LED lights into the coral cover. But before we get into all of that, let's get it out of the box. In the box, you'll find the LED panels, the aluminum LED rails, the 18 inch side end plates, the universal LED brackets with screws, a screw packet to assemble the LED fixture, the suspension cable set, as well as the power supplies, power cables, and the instructions. The coral cover is currently available in three sizes, a 24 inch model, a 36 inch model, and a 48 inch model, all of which share the same 18 and a half inch width and one inch thickness. The 24 inch draws 72 watts from the wall, the 36 draws 108 watts, and the 48 is drawing 156 watts, which should be plenty to get those diodes performing similarly to the T5 bulbs they're designed to replace. They each come with universal brackets that work with popular LED light fixtures, with the 24 inch including a single pair of brackets, the 36 inch coming with two pairs of brackets, and the 48 inch coming with three pairs of brackets. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate these simple but effective locking cable connectors? Thank you, Aquatic Life. It is a small but very much appreciated detail. When it comes to mounting options, you've got a few to choose from. The coral cover does come with that pair of suspension cables for hanging the fixture from the ceiling or from wall mounted brackets. You could also pick up a pair of Aquatic Life's adjustable light hangers to attach to the back of your stand and suspend the fixture from them as well. My personal favorite solution is their floating suspension system. It makes for a very clean look and you can easily lift your fixture up and out of the way whenever needed. Now, if you're wondering what primary LED fixtures are going to pair nicely or fit properly with the coral cover, you got plenty of options. Just about any LED fixture out there that is up to seven inches wide will fit between the two banks of LEDs on the coral cover. The universal brackets are easy to line up with a variety of fixtures like the Radeon, Hydra, Prime, and Red Seas pendant style fixtures. You can also pick up the optional brackets to perfectly fit Kessel A360, 160, and 360X fixtures. It is worth noting if you are planning to use primes, you'll wanna make sure that you have the small bracket from the AI Prime hanging kit so you can attach that bracket to the universal brackets with the Aquatic Life using a pair of firm zip ties or a nut and bolt combo from your local hardware store. Looking at the 24 inch model that I've got here, there are 144 diodes split into two separate panels. So it's 72 diodes per panel. Altogether, they provide a total of 56 450 nanometer diodes, 40 472 nanometer diodes, 32 525 nanometer diodes, and 16 620 nanometer diodes. 
Like I mentioned earlier, the fixture will run these 144 diodes at a max power draw of 72 watts or 36 watts per panel on this 24 inch model. What's interesting and actually quite smart is that regardless of what bulbs or spectrum you have the coral cover set to, relative to the intensity, the power draw of the fixture stays basically the same. So in other words, whether you want it set to all, so all of the diodes are evenly powered at that 100% intensity, or blue, which removes all of the reds, but still keeps it at that 100% intensity, each panel in the fixture is still running right around that 36 watt mark. I think the biggest reason Aquatic Life went this route is unlike other LED fixtures where they give you the keys to the kingdom and you can play with all the different sliders and customize the spectrum however you want, Aquatic Life really wanted this fixture to be simple and easy to use, as easy as say a T5 fixture. So instead of the guesswork with sliders, you can just pick the T5 bulb profiles that you want your coral cover to replicate and know that you've got a spectrum built for growing healthy, colorful corals. Now, it isn't as specific as saying, I want ATI's Blue Plus and KZ's Fiji Purple, but it is as easy as pie to understand when you're looking at it. And it's even easier to just preview when you have the fixture over your tank so you can see which bulb combination looks best to your eye. You can choose from all, which I presume mimics having one of each of the following bulb profiles, blue, coral, purple, and aqua blue. Four bulbs might not seem like a huge selection at first glance, but since it is a hybrid light, most reefers are going to run some combination of a blue bulb combined with a specialty bulb, which is exactly what this selection provides you with. On top of that, since you can actually program the front panel completely separately of the rear panel, you can actually select two different combinations. For example, blue plus aqua blue in the front and maybe blue plus purple on the back. And for those who might not be familiar with the practice of swapping out bulbs until you find a selection or combination of bulbs in your T5 fixture that you really like, the benefit of having it set up in an LED format like this is you can switch around all those bulbs without physically having to do it or without wasting a bunch of money swapping around bulbs, buying new bulbs, trying to figure out what it is you like. You can just preview it and change it whenever you want. No bulbs, no more bulbs. The bulbs are gone. When it comes to scheduling, the app is simple enough to use with an easy option that lays everything out for you in a simple form. You choose the bulb, you choose the on and off time, choose the ramp time, the max intensity, and you're all done. Rinse and repeat for the rear fixture and the light is ready to rock. There's also an advanced mode if you prefer to map everything out manually or have the intensities change throughout the day. You can also preview your schedule, trigger lightning mode, cloudy mode, or neon mode. You can also get a readout of the light's internal temperature and can can toggle it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Under settings, you can set the frequency of neon, cloud, or lightning modes, or just leave them off, and even trigger an acclimation mode, which will be useful for those introducing this light to an already established tank. Okay, so now that we've covered all the bases, like the layout of the LEDs, the spectral offering, and the app, let's pair up this coral cover with a Kessel A360X Tuna Blue and see how it performs. Looking at the A360X by itself at its optimal mounting height of eight inches, you can see that it falls short of those SPS numbers of 200 to 350 par that we usually look for. When paired with the coral cover, on the other hand, at 100% using the blue plus setting, we can see a significant bump in par that provides those SPS dominated numbers in 89% of the tank at this six inch depth and a decrease in the drop in par from the center to the outer ring from 40% down to 30% while also providing lots of intersecting points of light from the spread of individual LEDs without secondary optics inside of the coral cover, which should translate to lots and lots of fill light to get into all the nooks and crannies of those branching coral colonies. For those out there who are intending to use the coral cover with the outer panels tilted 15 degrees, as expected, there are a couple spots at the back of the tank where the black background absorbs light, falling just barely short of our 200 par threshold at the six inch depth. At a 12 inch depth, the tank is practically identical. And at 18 inches, there is a slight increase bumping up a couple spots to within that 200 to 350 range for SPS. Ultimately though, and actually unsurprisingly, the percentage of points falling within the SPS dominated range work out to be identical at 70%. So for the average reefer, unless your tank is more than 24 inches wide front to back, the 15 degree tilt is going to be an excellent tool to prevent some unwanted light spill. So if your primary LED just isn't getting enough photons to the depths of your branching corals and the coral cover matches your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.